you guys? Today's video is going to be on this four French braid into a low ponytail hairstyle. It actually turned out pretty cute. It was kind of tough for me to do it, as you guys will see in the tutorial, because I am very, very particular about my hair. And I'm not used to doing French braids. I'm more so used to doing Dutch braids or cornrows. Before we jump right into the video, feel free to give this video a big, big thumbs up, as well as subscribing to my channel if you are new. Also, turn on that notification bell so you guys will get alerts whenever I do upload. So, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Alright, let's get started. I'm kind of excited. Okay, so found this picture on Pinterest and I was like, it's popping, so let's do it. To start off, I want to part my hair probably about, I don't want to part it up like by my ear. I kind of want to part it more so going back. That way I can give the effect of the lower ponytail like that's in the picture. So I'm going to start about at my ear, but I'm going to take it back. Take it back. Back. Now I'm just going to twist the hair that's at the back just so I can get it out of the way. Ooh, arm getting tired. Come on, arm. Okay. In the picture, there are four French braids going straight back, and that is the exact style that I want to achieve. I want them to be straight back. So to make things easier, I'm going to part off all of my hair first, and then I'm going to go in and braid each section. Part down the middle. Oh lord, we going into the jungle. Y'all, parting is probably going to be the hardest part of this whole tutorial for me because it's getting to the back of my head and like, I can't see back there. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Oh! <sighs> <sighs> Normally I will go with like a beeswax or some type of edge control to like hold my hair down. The beeswax that I like to use is by Murray's, but, but recently I've been trying to find other beeswaxes that I might like because with Murray's it's like, once you put it on your hair doesn't move, which is good if you have your hair how you want it, but if you're trying to form your hair, it's your worst enemy, I swear. So for braided styles, I kind of like to stick to something like Hicks Edge Control because it'll make my hair lay down, but I can still move my hair. Another thing that I would like to use is a paste. So for today, I'm going to be using my Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Paste. And I've been using this for my last couple of videos because I really, really like it. Like it helps my hair lay the way that I want it to lay. So it's pretty amazing. Now, if I were to do like a slick ponytail, I would not use this because like it doesn't stay like I want it to. So for something like that, I would use beeswax. But for this tutorial, this will be just fine. So basically, while my hair is still in the twist, I'm going to put the control paste on both sides of the braid because it makes it way easier when it comes to braiding because it'll make the hair stay the way that you want it to. And I'm really just focusing that on my roots because on the ends, this part is still going to be curly and it's going to be loose. So I don't want to like slick that part down because then it's going to defeat the purpose of the hairstyle. Since my hair is so thick, another thing that I like to do is I like to part my finger down the center of my braid and I will put more curl control paste on the inside right here. I like to take my Demon brush to smooth the product in because this is literally the only thing that will detangle my hair. Nothing else works. I'm gonna section off a tiny piece at the front of my hair. I'm going to attempt to show this to you guys, but it's going to be kind of hard because I have to tilt my head back. So what you want to do is you want to make your three sections like you normally do with the braid. And instead of going underneath, you want to grab from the top. So what you want to do is you want to have your two sections right here and you just want to twist your hand like this and then grab the outside section. It's kind of hard to explain exactly how I pick up hair, but what I do is this right here is the middle section of the braid, and I just like to take my index finger and make a part going down like so, and then to detangle it, I will take my thumb because that's free, and I will just like scoop the hair like so and then detangle it, and then I'll give it back to my index finger. And then just repeat the same process. For 
for those of you that are visual learners, I'm going to try to scoot in as close as I can. That way you guys can see exactly what I'm doing with my hands because I understand that everybody learns differently. So again, I have the two sections right here, one, two, and this right here is the third section of hair as you guys can see. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into the center of the braid, like the middle of this part of hair. Take your index finger, drag it down and parting off some new hair. And you can choose to detangle it with one hand like this, but that kind of hurts for me. So I like to take my free thumb over here and go underneath just to help the detangling process. Once you get to that step, you can drop the hair that is on your thumb and you still have your three sections. And then you just want to twist and grab. So again, index finger, grab the hair from the middle, make a part with the new hair. Take your thumb, grab Grab the new hair, detangle, re-grab it with your other hand, and then twist and grab. Once the braid is off of my scalp, I like to take two little black rubber bands, and I just want to secure that. The reason why I use two is because my hair is thick, and normally it will break if I only use one. Before I start my braid, I'm going to take out some of my edges from the braid because I don't want to have to take them out after I've already started braiding because that hurts and sometimes I do break my edges off trying to do that. To make sure that they stay out of the way, I'm just going to put some of that control paste right there. The reason why it's important to make your part all the way across when starting your braid is because you want the braids to go straight to the back. If you were to start it like right here, then the braid is going to go in that type of style and that's not what I'm going for today. I'm finally done with my braids. So now I can take my twist out and I'm just gonna start moisturizing and fluffing my hair. I don't know if I wanna do like a curly look or like a puff. So I'm gonna do the puff first and then if I don't like it, then I will go ahead and like spritz my hair and make it curly. So I'm just taking my Demon brush to detangle my hair because again, that's like the only thing that will help my hair be detangled. I don't know you guys, it looks like curly hair for the wind because this is not popping. Okay, so, so I figured out that I don't have to make my hair curly after all. So I'm just going to put it in a ponytail and that seems to hold my hair a lot better because I don't like how wild it looks right now. And plus like my hair isn't shaped or anything. So kind of looking like Krusty the Clown a little bit and that's not the move. So I have my little headband as always, turned into a ponytail. And I'm just gonna put it on there once like so and i'm gonna pull it down as best as i can and once it's in the low ponytail that's when i'm gonna go ahead and spritz my hair to make it not be as stretched out and to make it go back into a puff water bottle and now i'm really just giving it time to curl back up because right now it's still looking kind of crazy but as long as you continue to form your hair how you want it to look it's going to end up looking cute once it starts to dry and shrink back up while that dries i'm going to go ahead and start to form my edges how i want them the two products that i like to use to get my edges to last all day are eco styler gel and got to be glued normally i'll use the eco styler gel first just to kind of get my edges in the shape that i want them to be in and then i will follow that up with the got to be glued because once you put that on your hair is not going to move. So that's just kind of like my finishing touches. All right, guys, that pretty much brings it to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to give this video a big, big thumbs up as well as subscribing to my channel if you are new. Also, don't forget to follow me on all of my social media platforms. The name is going to be somewhere on the screen as well as the links to all of those pages down below in the description box. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.